Guten Tag, es ist mich auch 110. Wie geht's? Gut, 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 ich hoffe. I have to do the intro of this video in German because I recently got a surprise parcel from Germany. If you guys didn't know already, I recently set up a mailbox thing where if you want to send things, you can. I asked you guys, some people said that, that would be a really good idea, so I did it. Recently, I went to check if something was there and there was. There was something there. So I'm gonna open it on camera. I have not opened it. I don't know what it is, but it came from the lovely Hinka. Now, Hinka, we've spoken about this before and I did ask you, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Because I think you've asked questions in the questions and answers before. And you did tell me how to pronounce your name, but it was a really long time ago and I'm not sure if I'm doing it right or not. So if it's wrong, I'm sorry. But before I open the parcel, I just have to say one thing. Vielen Dank, dass Sie so nett sind und mir min mir. <laughs> Vielen Dank, dass Sie so nett sind und mir ein Paket aus Deutschland geschickt haben. Du bist der erste Mensch, also mal sehen, was drin ist. Yeah? Shall we? Okay, let's open it. I will be mindful not to show either of our addresses on there. I mean, well, the address is my mailbox. If you guys want to see it, it's going to be in the description anyway. But I got some blotters. I don't even know if it is perfume. It feels like it might be. So I just want to see what it is. Let's see. There's a letter. There's a letter too. Let me see. It says, hi, Thomas. May you find these interesting. Maybe you already know all of them. Anyhow, have fun smelling them. Henka. Uh, I have listed them again. I'm not going to read what's on the back. I'm not going to read the list. I'm just going to see what they are and um, we'll just go from there. So there's five things in here. Sorry about the crinkly ASMR horribleness. Okay, this one is Maitress by Argent Provocateur. I spoke about this recently in a video. Is that why you sent it to me? I spoke about when I went a bit crazy and bought two bottles of the Argent Provocateur pink one. Matress is the gold one, which I don't think I have smelled or even remember. So let's smell it and see what it's like. Okay, it's the gold one with the red, red stuff all over it. Am I about to fall in love with this one as well? Oh, I kind of like it. Again, this one feels vintagey. It feels vintage in the way that Argent Provocateur do vintage. They're really good at that. They're really good at making things feel a little bit Burlesque. This one's a bit tougher than the other one. It's not as soft. Hmm. I like it. It's a little bit syrupy and woody and it feels like white flowers and maybe a couple of roses as well, but it feels more like a white floral than it does a rose. I'm going to put this on my skin, Henka, right? Why not? Why not just do the, the full hog? I'm not wearing anything on my hands right now. Oh, this reminds me of when I was a child and I would, my mum would have tiny little samples of things from, I don't know where, Avon maybe, probably, uh, and other perfume companies. And this is the sort of thing that they smelled like in the 80s. So this feels kind of 80s to me. It's a little bit brash and I like that. I don't mind that Argent Provocateur fragrances are brash. It's kind of what I like about them actually. But let me see what the notes are and um, I will make an informed decision. But to me, it feels like a kind of scratchy woody smell with some white florals and a syrupy vintage-ness. It's kind of golden, dark golden smelling. Mmm. Okay, so this is Ylang Ylang Lotus, Osmanthus, Jasmine Sambac. I did say it was white flowers, Iris Violet Leaf, and then Suede Musk Amber Cedar. So, yeah. It's got kind of the same sort of powderiness as the pink Argent Provocateur. I don't think it's as nice, but I'm glad that I'm smelling it. So thank you so much, Hinka. Danka, Danka. Now that I've read the note list <clears throat> and sat with it for a minute, I definitely can feel the iris. The iris is what's giving it its powderiness, but it's not clashing. It's working in tandem with the jasmine to keep it both sharp and have some softness at the same time. So. I like it. I want to see what's next. I'm really excited. I just want to smell them. Okay, let's see what it is. This one is Mahora by Guerlain. Why do I feel like this is an incredibly special fragrance? Isn't Mahora a really old Guerlain? Oh, I feel like I might have a little bit of liquid gold in my hands right now. Is it, is it not the one that's got the super pointy lid? Oh, I'm excited. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. 
Try and calm down, Tom. Try and calm down. Oh, this is so good. This is really, really good. This is actually not a million miles from the Argent Provocateur one, but just in a different league. Oh, what am I smelling here? This is another kind of golden, woody, floral smell. It's not a sheepra though. It does feel a little bit more ambery. It feels a touch animalic and it feels like a really well put together floral accord in the realms of, you know, Chanel number no. five has lots of flowers in it and it feels like one. This is so nice. I can't even imagine what this is gonna be like on skin. So I'm just gonna have to try it right now. I wonder why she chose to send me this. Why did you choose to send me it, Henka? I'm sure you can tell me in the comments. Oh, this has got, it's almost like a um, caramelized, almost burnt or very dark woody smell along with lots and lots of flowers. Yeah, it, it almost feels like burnt sugar in there somehow. Definitely very beautiful, vintage. I would say elegant, but it's not. This is kind of edgy. Oh, it reminds me a little bit of, it's very autumnal. It feels like, it's a bit autumnal leave, campfirey, flowery. I really need to know what's in this, but I definitely think it's cool. What is that burnt smell? I'm really intrigued. It is the one with the funny lid. I was right. So let's see what's in here. So it says, Almond Blossom, Green Notes, Orange, Tuberose, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, Neroli, Sandalwood, Vanilla, and Vetiver. So the floral heart thing is what I was picking up straight away. Chanel number no. five is a lot about Ylang Ylang, so that's probably why I made that connection. I don't know where the smokiness is coming from, maybe Vetiver, but yeah, this is, oh. This is kind of like in the, in, it's like a love child of Fracar and sort of Chanel number no. five-ish, but much punchier. It's scratchier. The woods in here are giving it a scratchy, dark autumnal feeling. And it's pretty cool. It's, it's the tuberose is really starting to come out a little bit more now that it's on my skin. And it's giving it that fracas feeling, that sort of Robert Piguet vintage tuberose that is not sweet in the slightest, which is the kind of tuberoses that I like. So this is, one of the only Guerlain tuberoses I think I've smelled off of the top of my head. I might have smelled some more, but I don't recall smelling any other vintage tuberosy things by Guerlain. And this doesn't feel like a Guerlain to me. Very cool. I'm going to smell the next thing. So this one is Violetta. Ooh. Alchemia Ferran. I'll put the bottle in the, in the, in the video for you. And the name. I'm pretty sure someone, possibly even you, Henka, Henka, had said, have I smelled this violet perfume when I talked about violets a long time ago? Mmm, baby powder, violets. This is playful. This smells like, recently I tried a perfume called Boys by Freddie Albrighton, and this is giving me that same really youthful, almost not Candyland Violet because it's too powdery for that. It's not like Insolence by Guerlain, but it is very soft, baby powdery Violet. Mmm, this could be a Guerlain. My mind is all over the place today. This one, I've smelled things similar. Uh, it's definitely very pretty. This is like a wear it to bed sort of fragrance. You know, it's really comforting and familiar and kind of, a little bit soapy violet, but it's definitely soft. It's kind of like one element of Kenzo flower. I like it. Let's see. It's not my favorite of the three, but I like it. This one is Lavande Velour, and it's another Guerlain. Oh, I'm being spoiled with the Guerlains today. Which one is this, Lavande Velour? Is it part of their, they've got so many lines, Guerlain. I mean, how do you even know where it comes from? Oh, well, some people know. I just don't know. I've not tried this before. Mmm. This is really nice. This, with, with lavender in perfumes, to me, it usually overtakes most of the time. It is in here too, but this smells like lavender when it's already started to dry. Lavender, when you first put it on your skin or if you smell it raw, it can be super camphorous and it can be harsh and you really get the aromatic 
almost kind of fieryness from it. Not fiery, but that camphorous, nose tingling smell that lavender can give you. But when it dries, that's when it becomes really elegant. And I, this is like immediately into a dry, a drying stage lavender, which I like. It's all I can smell though. And I don't know what it is with me and lavender, but when I smell lavender, it's what I can focus on. Of course, this is first impressions. It's the first time I've ever smelled them. There's a touch of greenery in here, but that could be coming from lavender too. You know, lavender is aromatic. It's not a flowery note. It's actually herbal more than anything. So, yeah. I wanna see what's in here. Ah, it's part of the Aqua Allegoria line. Okay, it makes sense now why it smells kind of stripped back and simple. The Aqua Allegoria line by Guerlain, there's a bunch of them. There's a lot of them. If you've ever tried to look them up, th there's just a lot of these perfumes. And the ones that I've tried, they've been Guerlain doing a kind of stripped back and simplified version of a perfume, usually focusing on one or two materials. I mean, it's called Lavande Velour, so this is about lavender. And that's what I smell. And it's a really nice one. It says there's violet and iris as well, and also vanilla. I definitely don't smell anything vanilla -y, and if it's in there, it's probably to soften it, which is, th now it makes sense, because iris, violet, I said it smells like lavender when it's already drying, so the iris and violet must be softening that, what would be harsh lavender, so that's why it makes sense when you look at the notes. You just gotta get there. All right, I'm gonna smell the last thing. I'm really excited to wear that Mahora one. So this one is, True Love by Elizabeth Arden. Let's see. Not too many. I want to try them properly on my skin. Oh, another soft one. I'm really getting an idea for your style, Hinka. I see, I can feel what it is that you like. You like purple things, it seems. This is lovely. This is a little bit like that other violet one, but it's better, I think. This is really pretty. It feels like another irisy, violet, soft, tender, purple type perfume. It feels musky as well. It feels like a, a gentle white musk. It's a clean one. It's more complex than the other one. Oh, the tuberose is really coming out of that Mahora one. Yeah, this one against the other violet one. This is just really overtaking. Against this, I can barely smell the other violet one now. I'm glad that I tried that one first. That could have gone the other way around. This is a rich but soft perfume. Oh, this was made by Sophia Grossman. I did a whole video about her. Maybe that's why you sent me it. I don't know, this is peach. Oh, she loves the peach, Sophia Grossman. So it's iris, it's heliotrope. This is why it smells soft and purple and powdery. Heliotrope is likened to the softest almond you can ever smell. There's jasmine, there's peach, uh, apricot, freesia, sandalwood, amber, and uh, vanilla. So it's a whole lot of softness going on. And like I said, it is a better version of that vi other violet perfume. This is really nice. Sophia Grossman is really good with florals and you can see why when you smell this it's very seamless this one really really pretty as well i feel like i have a, a, a idea of what you like this is another one of those i could wear it to bed fragrances comforting cozy very very cute that was so fun thanks so much henka for sending me this you're the first person to send anything to my mailbox so this has been really exciting thank you for introducing me to two guirlands that i've never tried i'm especially excited about this mahora one this is packing a punch it's really got a big personality and i like that i like tuberoses that are kind of unforgiving so that one's definitely my favorite of the bunch yeah this was fun I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave you guys alone. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a really nice day, evening, whenever you're watching this. This was really fun. And if anyone wants to send anything, their favourites, and they want me to smell them on camera, I will. The address where to send them to will be in the description box. I'm Ouch Momono, trying to make the world smell better one video at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.